Do you want more? More time, more balance, more love, more sex, more money, more real, and less bullshit. This is the Women Wanting More podcast with Dr. Karen Osborne. Real life, real stories, plus real tips to get you more of what you want. So I'm going to tell you a story, sister, about a t-shirt I used to have. You're going like, oh my God, Karen's stretching for material now. And she's like talking about fucking t-shirts, right? But stay with me because there is purpose in meeting to the story I'm about to share with you. And the reason why I have something very special coming out today, which is the Woman Wanting More store and the new Woman Wanting More apparel. And kind of like I wrote on Facebook last night, I was like, how the fuck did I get here? <laughs> one one more store coming out with t-shirts and like what the hell but let me let me share with you the story and this will help you understand and why I think it's important that you wear who you are so I bought a t-shirt about 10 years ago which had on it maybe even a little bit longer back I'm trying to think exactly I want to say it was maybe like two oh gosh 2007 eight eight probably eight ish something like that I remember where I got this t-shirt where my family had a cottage growing up as a kid in a little teeny town called Bayfield in Ontario it's Canada it's on Lake Huron so one of the Great Lakes beautiful little teeny tiny town and they have a couple little funky kind of shots shops on the main street it's like tiny like literally it's a village I think there's I think the population is 800 and then it'll you know swell in the summer months right because people come to visit and get cottages and all that kind of stuff And, um, so on this t-shirt and it was like, it was a good cut t-shirt. It was almost like back at that time, there wasn't really as many t-shirts that were like kind of girly fits, right? Like form fitting. They were still like a little boxy and stuff like that. So it was like good fitting shirt. It was brown, which you might go like, oh, brown, like what the hell? But no, it's good. Brown's good. Like chocolate brown. And, uh, and on the t-shirt had three words, which is one of my favorite quotes at all, of all times, or at least the first three words of it, which is be the change. As you might know, that is from a Gandhi quote, which is be the change you wish to see in the world. And to me, that quote had so much meaning because it simply means this to me. I'm going to paraphrase Gandhi. Perhaps small Indian man didn't really seem this didn't really, you know, want it to come off this way, but this is the way I see it. It's like, bitch, you want shit done? You fucking do it. You be the change. You show the way, like you lead. You know, when you hear people say like, well, you know what, this should happen and somebody should do this and this isn't right. And da, 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 da. it's like, well, why don't you be the one to do it then? Why don't you create the solution? Somebody needs to fix this. How about you, right? Be the change you wish to see in the world. It means even more to me now these days too, because it means even something bigger which is understanding that your way of being, the way that you show up in the world influences and impacts others significantly. And that could be something like what I'm doing with women wanting more, right? Showing up as who I am. I'm showing you, right? This is not just talk. If you follow me, you see me like hitting the gym. You see me talking about parenting and how it's difficult. You hear me talk about marriage and how that's difficult and the things that we go through and have gone through and the things with, you know, creating this message and trying to connect with you, like all of these things, I'm being the change. I'm showing you how to find power. I'm showing you how to remember who that you remember who you are and to get clear on the things that you actually want within your life and how to create a life of more. And that didn't come from me saying, well, you should, you know, we should all do this. And like, somebody should show us. I was just like, you know what? Fuck this. It's up to me. It's up to me. Inspired by my husband's first, first experience into warrior to the brotherhood three, almost three years ago now. And just saying, you know what? There should be something like this for women. And there wasn't. And so I said, well, it's up to me. Be the change. And hence created the woman wanting more podcast and movement be the change I wore that t-shirt until there were like holes in it <laughs> like and I was like mm, there's probably just throw this t-shirt on now be the change it meant a lot to me 
And so as I've gone throughout this journey with Women Wanting More, again, from the initial launch of the podcast, August of 2015, to where we are now today, I record this uh, middle of March 2018, two and a half years later, there's been a lot of things that I have done, a lot of work that I've done. I'm, I was thinking of like one of the coach, just one of the coaches that I hired, I was tallying the amount, dollar amount in my head. Now, this is coaching, not just for business coaching. This is, this is, this is, you know, everything. This also encompasses who I am as a parent and as a wife and in my body and just as me, as Karen, right? Let alone woman leading this movement. And so I took a look. I'm like, how much did I invest in coaching with that particular coach? I'm like, okay, 10, 25, 35, 30, $65,000. In 18 months. U.S., by the way, I'm Canadian, so that means more like seventy-five dollars to $80,000. Not a small amount of money, right? The amount of time, and that's, that's just one coach, by the way. That's just one coach. The amount of time that I've invested in. I mean, we literally, this started six years ago, trying to, like, figure out what is this message. And it became one thing, and I tried some things, and some things didn't really work and land, and... One thing brought me to the other. My mom at 41 and the previous podcast, my first podcast, which was also a blog, which was a website, which was trying to create a movement. And that just kind of moved and morphed into when we want to more. So all the time that I've invested, all the energy, all the blood, sweat, tears, frustration, sister, you have no fucking idea what this takes. It takes a lot. It takes, it takes a deep, like, I mean, deep fucking why for me to continue with this every single day. I'm called to this. Now, I could ignore the calling. I did that for a long, long time. Nope, who am I to do this? Nope, I'm not ready. Nope, I don't, like, I don't know enough. Nope, I can't, I don't have the time. Until I finally decided to stop telling so many lies to myself and just start to fucking do and take action and try to figure it out. Which again, began six years ago. Let me write a blog. Let me do video blogs. I'm gonna try to create these online courses and blah, 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 like on and on and on. So how did this morph into this woman wanting more store? Well, so here's the thing. So of all the things that I have done, so what started from live event, group coaching, okay, which by the way, a lot of these things I still have in place, one-on-one coaching, um, online courses, shorter group coaching programs, giving away free journals, speaking, of course, the podcast. I realized that what was in the Sisterhood, which is a, a, a monthly group coaching program through Facebook, free Facebook group I have, which is called the Experience Women Wanting More Experience, which if you aren't in that group, go right now to Facebook, type in Women Want to More Experience in the, the search bar, and I request to be added to the group. But I realized that the biggest piece of this is for you to all feel like you're part of something. Because you are, but you're all doing this alone, right? There's 180, I think 184 countries at last check that listen to this podcast around the world. Like crazy, right? 3,000 to 5,000 listens a day. And, but yet there's so many of you that still don't take action. Like you just don't take action. And there's all sorts of things that I'm, so from the beginning it was like, well, you can come and uh, coach with me in a group coaching and it's this amount and like, that's it. They're like, oh, but I'm not really at price range. It's like, okay, well, when you are, then you can come back. Otherwise, fuck you, listen to the podcast. Like that was essentially my thing of like, this is what I want to do. And then I realized I'm like, okay, let me do live event experience. So that's going to be at a different dollar amount. Okay, so that attracted more women. Some are going to continue with coaching. Some are not, right? Some are just like, hey, I got what I what I want from this experience. Thank you. I'm good. And then I realized there were some that just were not starting at that point. And so I started to create online courses. I started even like, again, give away the journal for free. I'm like, how can, you know, it was just a constantly of like, there's got to be another way to reach more women. And it's cool that so many of you listen to the podcast and increasing all the time. That's awesome. And I appreciate you listening. And I know how many of you get value from it because you write me emails and send me Facebook messages let me know and you share it up and that's awesome. But there's one thing to talk, there's another thing for you now to actually get results, right? So like inside of like, oh man, Karen, the thing you said, like I really connected with it. 
it's another thing to know, take that insight and actually do something, right? So like value is cool, value is cool, but if you actually do something with what you have learned, you take action on the insight that you've uncovered about yourself, well, that's a, that's a totally different animal now. This is why I do what I do because I fully know, I believe that if you, sister, that if women fully plug into the power that you possess as a wife, as a mother, as a businesswoman, that there will be, and for yourself, that there will be more love in this world. And really, like, plugging into that power that you possess is not going to happen by you listening about it, reading about it, or watching a video about it. It's going to happen by you taking action. So I went deeper and I went, I went, okay, what creates like culture? What really creates a movement? What's another way to connect the dots? And this is going to sound kind of funny, but here's a piece of it. I'm like, women love to shop. I love to shop online. It's easy. I'm not a big fan of shopping in stores. I'm better with it now. It's a time thing. I'm just like, I would just rather get something online. Like it's just easy, right? I got a lot going on. I just, if I need to get things, I'm going to go online. Like me and Amazon are like, can't see this, but my fingers are crossed. We're like fucking, we're close. We're tight. What do we need? Fucking Amazon, right? Like, let's go. Online groceries, Lululemon order. Like I order so much stuff online. I'm like, what if I created clothing, which would help women who aren't ready to take that action yet, but it's like a beginning step. And again, it sounds like kind of like, just stay with me here. You're like, what? It's just a fucking tank top or a t-shirt or beanie. Like, I get it. I get it. But stay with me. Because there is, again, there is, there's a connecting to the dots that I really feel and felt called to do this. To the point of, again, last night I'm working. We had a sitter so my husband and I could get some work done. He's opening up his Men of Iron headquarters, which is his men's coaching, by the way. If you want to listen to the Men of Iron podcast, I'm going to link that up in the show notes because he just launched that. He's brought three groups of men through live experiences and, and he's, you know, doing this movement, but for when? For men, empowered by, by warrior. And uh, as, I'm, as I'm sitting there, I'm like, so I'm like, I'm doing apparel? Like, how, how the fuck did I get here? So my thought, my belief, what I feel and I really believe to be true, like I believe this is true, is that for so many of you, you are afraid to take action, that you feel a certain way on the inside, but to come and actually voice it is hard. But to wear a t-shirt that talks about your belief, it's like like an icebreaker, right? That you have a t-shirt that says all in, that that represents who you are, that you wear who you are. It becomes another way, a conduit, a, I don't want to say simpler step. And it's, listen, it's not to take the place of, you can't go like, I'm just going to put on a tank top that says all in and suddenly I'm going to be all in in my life. Like, no, it doesn't work that way. And of course you know that, but it begins the conversation for those that vulnerability is like, it's so scary. And I forget sometimes sister, right? I forget because I've been doing this work even way before six years, I just had a message from a client that is going to a Tony Robbins seminar, The Unleashed Power Within, which is like his three or four day program um, with her son today. And she's like, hey, remember you mentioning this and we're just really excited and like, this is so cool. And so I'll message her back later today and I'm pumped for her, right? But like, I started reading Tony Robbins when I was in my 20s, like early 20s. So I turned 49 in a couple months. So do the fucking math on that, man. Like the, 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 this journey began a long fucking time ago for me. So I forgot how scary, I mean, it's still scary for me, vulnerability, right? For even for me to like, to launch this, we want to more store. I'm just like, oh my God, like what the hell? This is, this is crazy. Like, what am I doing? Is this going to work? Is this, you know, all this kind of stuff, right? But I know that for some of you, this, this is the action step. Like this is the step to get you going, right? This is the step that will be, be begin to bring you in. This is the step that people might say, what is that? What is that? You know, what's that beanie say that you had that says, um, let me have to, who do I need to become? Who do I need to become was way too long to put on a beanie. beanie. So it's an acronym. acronym. So W, oh geez, who do I need to... W D I N Y B. Yeah, that's it. Oh, I didn't fuck that up, but you get it. People will be like, what the hell is that? Right. And you can have a conversation about who that you need to become. 
When you have a shirt that says trust and surrender. When you have a tank top at the gym that says I am powerful. It is a message for you to let others know how you feel on the inside reflected on the outside. And a reminder for you seeing on the outside of how you choose to show up on the inside. You wear who you are. So I am beginning to show all these pieces. Now I'm recording this podcast. This is four days before the store launches. You're listening to it on the actual day. If you're listening when the podcast episode comes out, you need to go to right now to the store and start grabbing stuff. There are all sorts of like amazing stuff that's there. They will begin to sell out. I know it. I know it. This is just the beginning. So you're going to see tanks and t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, and mugs. Yes, you don't wear a mug, but you know, we all drink coffee and tea. You can begin to wear who you are. Wear who you are. Wear who you are. So here's your more tip. I want you to go over to the store and pick up some of your favorite items and gift them for friends and really help me spread this message for you, sister, and for the world. Because Woman Wanting More and the vision that I see for it is bigger. It's big stages. It's a hundred of you grabbing up the tickets that are coming out soon for Woman Wanting More Live with the intention at the end of that, those two days, that you remember who you are. Which is also one of the t-shirts and tanks and hoodies and mugs. Remember who you are. So here's what I want you to do. Here's the, the website for the online store. If you're on your show notes, you can click on the link, but it's shop.womenwantingmore.com. Okay, so shop, S-H-O-P dot womenwantingmore.com. And I'm pumped to have you start wearing who you are, sister. This can be the first step of you taking action. I know it's an easier one than actually like journaling and stuff, but for some of you, it will be the start and you will start to see, and this will be the baby step to keep you moving forward. Plus, you are part of this movement, sister. Be proud of that. Show people that. Let them see who you are by you wearing who you are. So that's at shop.womanwantingmore.com. So that's it. That's your more tip. That's your action for today. Make sure to also, one more thing, get on the Woman Wanting More newsletter so you get all the VIP access to new things that are coming out with the store. The Woman Wanting More Live that's coming out July 27th, 28th, one day event, 100 tickets. They're going to go fast. You're going to see that coming out soon as well too. So head over to drkarenosborne.com slash action guide because I'm going to send you some free gifts as well when you enroll in the newsletter and you will get VIP access to all of that. So I will talk to you in the next episode, sister. A life of more is just one step away from meeting the fucking work every single day. I love and appreciate you. To get the show notes of each Women Wanting More episode, including the how to get more tip, subscribe to the newsletter at drkarenosburn.com slash newsletter. 